Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jay House. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Today I'm going to be showing you how to unload a vac pneumatic pneumatic trailer. I know some videos out there, but hopefully this one is easier for you guys to understand. So if you do like the video, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and let's get to it, baby. So the first thing we're going to do after backing up to the silo is hook up our hot hose to the blower. And now you're going to take the cap off the assigned silo that you're given and hook your hose up to the slot. And after that, you're gonna go back to the truck and engage your PTO, which is your blower. If you haven't seen how to do that, go check my video out on my channel. Now we're gonna close the blowdown valve. Make sure your tank is open. Make sure your product line is closed. The way you know that it's open is your valve is going parallel with the pipe. The way it's closed, it's going perpendicular to the pipe. Now that our valves are set, our tank is going to build pressure. My vac pneumatic guys, make sure that valve on your vacuum is closed. And we're going to build our pressure to around 7.5 to 10 pounds. We're going to open up the product line, close your tank to about a quarter open, and then open up your first pod. My sand haulers, you want to build your pressure up to about 12 PSI before you open yours. Now we're checking our gauges to make sure they're staying steady. And you're gonna to walk to the back to make sure your hose is as straight as can be so you can get a good flow. Then you wanna come back around, check your gauges, make sure they're still standing steady. If your pressure is dropping, you can try opening your tank a little bit more. If it's rising, you want to close it a little bit more. Now that our first pod is empty, we're gonna close that one off and open up the second one as quick as possible to keep the flow steady. The way you know that your pod is empty, it'll make a loud vibration sound. And now we're gonna check the gauges to make sure they're still staying afloat. Once again, we're going to close off our pod and open up the necks as quick as possible. Check your gauges, make sure they're staying afloat. And for our final pod, we do the same thing. Close off, open up the next one. Alright, now when your last pod empties out, make sure it's cleared out. You want to go to the next one, make sure it's cleared out, and so on until your last pod. You want to make sure you get all your material out your tank.
After that last pod is cleared out, keep your product line valve open. Make sure your tank valve is open and open your blowdown valve. This way you get all the air out of your tank. Head to the truck and turn off your blower. Once again, if you haven't seen how to engage a PTO, go check my video out on my channel. Unhook your hot hose. Make sure you close the door to your gauges if you have one. And lastly, you want to unhook your hose. I prefer to unhook from the silo first and then snapping your cap back on and putting your hoses up. YouTube hopefully that was easy for you guys to understand I know there's some videos out there but we have a hard time finding videos like this so if you have any questions about how to unload hit me up in the comment section I will respond promptly and you guys have a blessed day